Hi guys, bonjour, comment ça va and welcome back to VR Essentials. If you're new here to the channel, a big welcome to you, very nice to meet you and welcome back to all our regular subscribers, always nice to have you among us. So today we're talking of course about the HP Reverb G2 software updates by Microsoft. The HP Reverb G2 is a cross collaboration between Windows and Valve who developed the headset speakers as well as the lenses. Now do go to the link description below where I posted a number of other videos that talk about the first impressions and unboxing of other professional YouTubers and also make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe to the VR Essentials channel because we will be receiving our own HP Reverb G2 quite soon. Now you will need the Windows 10 in order to run the HP Reverb G2 and even though it's just been released it's already great news that there are some updates that have been patched through. Just a quick note that if you did pre-order your HP Reverb G2 and you're based in Europe you may actually expect some delays in terms of the first batch deliveries as per one of the videos which I'll put a link to in the description below the like button but however for the US and Canada there doesn't seem to be any delays in terms of delivery for the first batches and also I've been told that for Asia people are also going to be start receiving their headsets pretty soon. So apparently HP have made some really good improvements in terms of the chromatic aberration. So this is basically some of the color leaking around the various different objects so that the actual things that you see will be much clearer and not have any kind of halo kind of effects depending on where you look inside of the actual lenses. Another improvement that they worked on is actually the light leaking but not the light leaking that comes from the nose but the actual god rays from the VR headset itself. So for example on the LCD displays a green pixel can leak a little red which when viewed through a lens can appear as ghosting or even a magenta color. So basically a lot of this chromatic aberration and also light leaking or ghosting inside of the VR headset are really due to the fact that the circular ridges that are inside the VR headset lenses are actually the edges of multiple refraction points which guide light to your eye. Now what HP have had to do is actually develop various different algorithms to be able to calculate all these different things that you and I don't see but there's millions of different things going on in the in, in behind the scenes um, which basically adjust all these kind of things so that by the time we see the images in our eyes everything has been corrected. Before we go I just wanted to thank all those who went to vote and commented in the community tab where I had asked you which VR experience were you going to be using during Halloween Go and check out the community tab to find out who won.